Hello there. I'm going to be making a uh, dowel like this from this stick of balsa. I'm going to be using this handmade cutter. It's basically a, uh, a big pencil sharpener that doesn't come to a point. I tried using this uh, sharp pencil sharpener. I cut it so that it would have a large end here to make the dowel that size, but it's kind of small to, to uh, hold in your hand and do. And if your stick is a little not straight, it really goes all over the place. At a later date, I'll do uh, some instructions on how to do this. Basically, you take a drill bit the size you want your dial to be, in this case, 3 eighths. Take a block of wood about an inch and a half, just about an inch and a half by an inch and a half, maybe about an inch and a half by two, and you drill straight through with your dial size bit. Then you come in from that end, the other end, and you drill with the step down bit. Then you calculate where those two meet, where this 3 eighths meets the 3 eighths on your step down bit, and you mark that. Then you put the block on edge on your table saw, and you angle the blade the angle that you uh, tapered your step down bit is. And you want to line up your fence so that you're slicing off the edge of the hole. It'll be on an angle, in this case 11.5 degrees, and you want to line and you want to clamp a chisel, a very sharp chisel. I even put this on a strop. Uh, and you don't want it to extend too much further than the size of your hole, your dowel hole, or else it'll really it'll take chunks out of your uh, your balsa stick. If that's happening, then you know, move your blade back. If it's not eating up enough, then move your blade in. That's just, you'll have to uh, play that by ear. You want to prepare your stick by taking your knife and making a nice cylindrical shape, symmetrical to the stick, that's going to be chucked into your drill. I uh, prepare this and co uh, strengthen this end with a little thin set CA glue make it a little bit tougher. And then on this end that's going into your jig, your cutter, you want to you want to shave that just to kind of prepare it. Just to kind of get it started. Go ahead and chuck your stick into your drill. This block of wood here has a, th uh, a hole of, uh, a little bit bigger than 3 eighths to act as a guide once the stick starts getting out here it wobbles a lot and that will help keep it true. It helps if you get down on a level you work to help keep your stick level. I just broke it off. Uh. Well, since this stick looks like it's not going to play nice, I, uh, I stuck a two-inch six-penny nail into the end. I reshaped my end. Let's see if it works now. And every now and then, if this side gets too clogged up, you want to stop and just take something small and, and clear away that blade area. Clear away the wood shavings. I'm holding it here in the middle. It helps keep it from wobbling too much. You 
want to move it kind of slow, but rotate it as fast as you can and still keep the dial moving straight and true. Just like it's doing now, okay, I'm going to grab it back here and help keep it true. Steady, slow feed. Whoop. All right. So much for that. What happened was the nail, I didn't realize how far the nail was in and it hit the chisel and broke. It was, uh, the nail was actually on an angle, it didn't go down the center of the wood. Oh well, we're done anyway, so that's perfect. You may need a, uh, something to grab the piece out at the end like that. <clears throat> Back you stick out. And you have a dowel. And that's a, it may be a little roughed up. Just take some sandpaper. And run it through like that. Now we have a 3 8 inch dowel for making popping bugs and pencil poppers and the like. Good luck!